with McDonald's, the only thing that's invaded more countries than America. Some McDonald's franchisees are pushing back against a new corporate ad campaign called Famous Orders, which lets famous people like Cardi B create new menu items. Some restaurant owners worry the Cardi B promotion is not compatible with McDonald's decades-long history as a family-friendly restaurant. One uh, franchisee in uh, San Jose who's participating said, you know, the fact that we can't talk about the song that we're objecting to oh. because we can't use the title... Says something. Says something. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Do these guys have a problem with WAP? Because you know every burger comes with wet-ass pickles. <laughs> this is a normal thing. Don't take the moral high ground. Not to mention, Mickey D's, one of your mascots is a burglar, and the other one is a purple butt plug. <laughs> and you're worried about Cardi B? <laughs> All right, let's move on to our big story tonight. The train derailment in East Palestine. Yeah, sad, very sad. But today, a bipartisan group of senators introduced safety legislation to, you know, actually try to solve the problem, which is so refreshing because for the past three weeks, all we've heard is pundits and politicians playing the blame game. But where's President Biden? Instead of going to Ohio, President Biden is heading home to Delaware to relax after his big Ukraine trip. We're here because of all of the deregulation of the train industry uh, during the Trump administration. Joe Biden will probably never visit. You know, he doesn't seem to care what's happening in Ohio. Pete Buttigieg is a disgrace. It was him. It was Donald Trump and his administration. I, I think the people in East Palestine, Ohio, should put Ukraine uh, flags in their yard and maybe Biden would pay attention. Okay, all of you shut up. Wait. This feels like watching your parents fight in the kitchen and they're both being idiots for different reasons. <laughs> listen, Republicans, listen to me. You guys love deregulation, but suddenly you now care about rail safety? A little ironic. Also, you really think Joe Biden taking a tragedy selfie would make the situation any better? <laughs> Democrats, listen to me. As of now, March 1st, there is zero indication that Trump's policies caused this whole derailment. So you cannot touchdown dance. But also, what the f are you guys doing? How do you fumble the optics game every time? Why didn't you send Joe Biden to take a tragedy selfie? Even a moron like Donald Trump managed to do it. Trump pulled up to McDonald's and started handing out hats and Happy Meals. Democrats, you waited three weeks and you sent Pete Buttigieg dressed like Bob the Builder? <laughs> He's the 12th man on your depth chart. Send Kamala. What the f is Kamala doing? We want to see her. Just, just for proof of life. Kamala, take an Instagram reel of you feeding an Appalachian kid, okay? <laughs> Easy. Now, here's the real issue. Nobody should be trying to win a train derailment, okay? We had about five seconds of empathy before this whole thing turned into another partisan prize fight. It's almost like everyone in politics and the media said, hey, how will people have empathy if we don't tell them who to blame? <laughs> you know, you don't always have to find a villain because the truth is much like me. It's not always black and white. For more on the partisan fallout from train derailment, let's turn to Dulce Sloan. Dulce! <laughs> Listen. Hi! Hi. Dulce. <laughs> Dulce Sloan. They love you. Stop losing. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> friend. Yeah. But don't you think the whole blame game is just terrible? Actually, I don't think it's gone far enough. <laughs> There's a lot more blame to go around. People are blaming Democrats and Republicans, but we're not blaming the real villain. You're so right. It's our own inability to empathize. That was with dumb, dumb. <laughs> we gotta blame these trains. <laughs> Wait, what? Thomas and the rest of them mother huh? okay? <laughs> Thomas the We don't need them. Listen, a train is just a bus that goes less places. <laughs> It's just a bunch of little cars sniffing each other's butts. 
That is a horrifying image. Absolutely is. Yeah. But you can't just blame trains as a whole. Yes, I can. I also blame the inventor, British engineer George Stevenson. You think you can get away with this? Oh, Inventing the locomotive in 1804? No, sir! Okay? We are digging your ass up and kicking it all over the cemetery, all right? Revenge for Ohio! Oh, Revenge! Yeah. Say you are reaching here to find anyone to blame. Ah, you get it awfully defensive, <laughs> Hassan. No, I'm not. Maybe you had something to do with this. Where were you when the derailment happened, Mr. Hall? I was doing comedy. <laughs> doing comedy. Uh huh. You were somewhere making people laugh with the ha ha's and the joke jokes. Hmm. Can you believe this man? <laughs> he was making jokes at a time of national tragedy. How dare you? What the heck? Is that why you came here? How's the new shot? What? Listen, I want everybody to oh acknowledge that this brown man. Oh my God. This Muslim man, this brown Muslim man. Oh my. Is responsible for that drain jumping off the tracks like a no, hot potato. I know I'm yes. not. You're doing this right now. Yes. You're getting everybody worked up. This yes. is how the whole thing works. Yes. The media machine, you're smelling blood, and you're getting them to <laughs> pounce on me. Boo. Yeah. Why are you doing this? Because blaming feels great. <laughs> it's the best way to solve any problem. See, when you blame someone, you don't have to take any action. There's no need to reflect. You simply ask the question, who's responsible? <laughs> Whose fault is this? <laughs> and it doesn't matter who it is, because the important thing is, <laughs> it ain't me. <laughs> so, Hassan, apologize. Okay. people, the American people, about derailing a train in Ohio. Okay, America, I'm sorry for mm -hmm. being responsible for the train derailment in East Palestine. I don't know. I, it, it felt forced. It, felt it was forced. forced. And that's the problem, because you, you need to take responsibility. Okay, you know what? Thank you so much, Dulce. Fine. I take responsibility.